Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most top load washer repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the power cord. To access control board components, simply remove the screws at the rear of the appliance, securing the control panel cover. Then pull the cover off. When the repair is complete, realign the cover and secure the screws. To access components like the drain pump or drive belt, you will need to remove both the main top and front panel. To do this, first use tape to secure the washer lid. Now insert a putty knife under the main top to release the two spring clips. Lift up the main top and support it. Remove the mounting screws at the bottom of the front panel. Push the panel down and pull it away from the frame. Some repairs may require the removal of both the inner and outer tubs. To do this, pull off the dispenser cover and cup. Next, use a half-inch socket to remove the agitator bolt and lift off the agitator. This may require some effort. Detach the pressure switch tube from the tub cover. Use a flathead screwdriver to help release the tabs to remove the tub cover. Use the half inch socket to remove the trunnion block mounting bolts and pull the block off. You can now lift out the inner tub. Push the brass ring down to detach it from the gasket. Then slide the ring and gasket off of the drive tube. Next, remove the screws securing the motor shield and move the shield and capacitor to the side. Release the clamp securing the hose to the tub port and pull the hose off. Be prepared for water to spill out. Remove the pressure switch tube from the outer tub. Now, remove the outer tub mounting bolts. Note the orientation of the outer tub, then lift it off of the drive tube. When the repair is complete, reposition the outer tub on the drive tube and secure it with the mounting bolts. Reattach the pressure switch tube to the outer tub. Reconnect the hose to the tub port and secure it with the clamp. Reposition the capacitor and motor shield and reinstall the screws to secure. Slide the brass ring and gasket onto the drive tube and press the gasket firmly into the ring. Replace the inner tub. Align the trunnion block on the spin tube slot and secure it with the mounting bolts. Align the tabs on the tub cover with the catches on the outer tub and snap the tub cover into place. Reattach the pressure switch tube. Slide the agitator onto the drive block and secure it with the bolt. Replace the dispenser cup and cover. Replace the front panel by aligning the tabs on the panel with the slots in the frame. Then lift the panel up. Replace the mounting screws to secure. Remove the support. 
lower the main top, and snap it into place. Then remove the tape securing the lid. With the washer fully reassembled, plug the power cord back in and confirm that the appliance is functioning properly.